Welcome back, folks, to Let's Replay Mystic Quest, and when last we left off, Jim and Bogard have managed to catch up with Julius's airship that made the mistake of refueling at a nearby lake. After fighting their way across the deck, they've managed to get into the airship itself, where they hope they'll find Skye and rescue her before the airship takes off. And we really hope that we don't encounter Julius, because the last time we fought him, it wasn't really a fight. Let's move in, shall we? We're going to encounter some enemies that we've seen before, like the skeletons and the bouncy blobs, and as a note, that enemy before that I couldn't identify, I've looked at it again, and that was a mimic. It's a bouncing chest with a maw that's trying to eat you, and that enemy, I believe, can blind you. I'm going to be equipping fire here, because there are some enemies in the next room especially that can do a lot of damage. The ghosts. I've no idea why Julius has ghosts guarding his airship, but they're very effective. You don't want them to hit you, because they can kill me in a few hits. There are some NPCs in here, let's have a conversation with you. Get back to work! We are busy working, working to rescue Sky. That's not the work I was referring to. Get back to work! But we're just nod and say okay. Okay. Good. And then we move on. And here are more of those enemies, and we're just gonna fly across the screen there. They are very reluctant to shoot at you, which is good, because the shots they fire deal a lot of damage, and ramming into them also deals a lot of damage. There are two ways- Oh, we have Dark Afflicted now, and that doesn't do as much as you'd think. It does make seeing certain things more difficult, but it doesn't last very long. We could go this way, or we could go down, and we want to go down here. And there are four werewolf enemies. We could use this switch to free them, or we could use our power to- Oh wait, no we can't, because this blocks our power. Maybe if we use the chain though, we might be able to hit them from a distance. And that is some clever thinking. Let's see if that works, shall we? The answer is, it does work, so we're just going to use the chain to kill them without any particular risk. And I know that chest there is a cure, so we're not going to be opening it. We gained a level, we're going to gain more wisdom, because we're specialising in being average in every way. Two more foes the best, and it won't be that difficult, but one of them jumped over. And we're going to have to open that one, because that one is blocking the switch we want to step on. Or is it? Let's see. The answer is, it is. We can't carry that, so we're just going to drop a cure to gain a cure. We're going to be holding on to the gold. We want to sell that. Found cure, and found a chest we're going to get rid of so that we can step on that and make a set of stairs. Down we go! And down here is the place that we need to be. There will be, yep, an NPC that's quite happy to walk on spikes. Must have very sturdy boots. Julius is taking the charge of this airship. Julius isn't around here by any chance, is he? No? Why do you ask? Oh, oh, good. No reason. Good? Are you sure you're meant to be here? Have you seen a young girl that's been held captive? Oh, just over there to the west. Thank you. But I was asking about- let's just keep going. And in this room are some more enemies that are very familiar. This enemy isn't difficult to defeat, and this enemy can be killed with the silver sword. So let's equip that, and stabinate it. It is gone. And what is up here? There's a room you can rest in, and also four more werewolves. We better just defeat them. I don't know if you can rest in the bed even though the werewolves are in there. I never really tried to. Got to be very careful. Bogard can hit these enemies. Bogard can't hit enemies that require a silver sword. It seems that not all of his weaponry and equipment is silver. We'll never know how he managed to get through Gaia's mouth. And one more hit there, and you are gone, and you are gone as well. I also don't know if you need to constantly have the silver equipment equipped once you get into Gaia's dungeon. I get the feeling that all you need is to have it on so that you can get through the initial entrance. And down here is a locked door. That is encouraging, because we haven't encountered a locked door yet. Inside the locked door is Sky, looking out of the window, wondering if anybody competent will come and save her. And then she sees Jim, and sighs that nobody competent has come to save her. Sky! Hurry! It's moving! Well, we took way too long trying to rescue her. 
This door is locked. It's not really a door either, it's just a small gate. I could jump over it, but some sort of force is preventing me. Must be magic. I I'm not sure it must be magic. How about the windows? And she goes to check the window and rushes back. It may open. I'll get you from outside. Be careful, and also don't do anything stupid. You are my only chance of getting out of here, and I really don't want to admit that. Don't worry, I've learned from last time. If you see Julius, don't try and fight him. I'd be very surprised if you did. And now we're going to go and find that window. I'll stay in guard sky. Okay, are you sure that's a good idea? I mean, I got destroyed by Julius. I'm far higher level than you. I'll be fine. Okay, and now we don't have Bogard with us. This place has got that little bit more dangerous. Fortunately, this room doesn't have any enemies in it. I think this room does, though. Just one. And we fly across the screen and kill it. Marvelous. We need to go the way that we didn't go before, which is to say that we're going to take the uh, door here. I don't know if it's locked, and if it is, we just went right past the lock. Now, if we're very careful, we can use... I really think I should be using the uh, fire magic here. Don't want to be uh, reckless. There we go, and it is gone. And I've no idea what they drop. If memory serves, it might be an ether, so dropping a cure isn't a bad idea. I'm sure it'll be more valuable than that. And it's an ether. Excellent. Hopefully this will lead up to the uh, deck of the airship. It leads to a bunch of uh, pots that are holding nothing important. So we'll just move on. And there is another NPC. Many years ago, Dark Lord found a baby in a cave at the waterfalls near Glaive. That's Julius. Well, it's nice to see that Dark Lord took care of Julius and that he's grown up to be pretty much like him, wanting to help his uh, friend take over the world. Alright, we'll just uh, defeat you two and move on. These are some very unusual guards. I mean, most airships would just have guards, but no, Julius has undead monstrosities, giant mice, ghosts, weird eye things that fire beams, and some pig warriors. And here is another one of those eye beam monsters. And now it is dead. What is over here? The answer is stairs down. Do I really want to go down to head up? That doesn't seem like a sound idea. I'm going to head this way. And over here are some more pig warriors that are now dead pig warriors. They only take two hits, not bad. Up here is some stairs leading down and up. I think I'm getting very close to the end of the airship. It's not a very long dungeon, and this door is locked, so we're gonna have to use a key. I'm curious as to what's down, so we're going to go down first. And spin the sword around, killing everything! I really don't use this ability enough. That is a uh, replenished key. It might be worth throwing... Ooh, actually, we have some space. Never mind we don't, because the uh, key is actually taking up the inventory space, even though we still have it equipped. Let's get rid of this key, and pick up the full key. Excellent. What is down here? That is the question for the moment, and the answer is probably an area we can fall into if we're not careful. There are some enemies, and one of them managed to hit us. Twice. And I think that's just a pure? But we could always do with more of them. We have more cures than pures, after all. And I think at the rate we're going, we'll have more pures than cures. In here is a cure. So we picked up one item that we just threw away. Never mind. What is over here? The answer is this might be the way up. Let's find out if that's the case, shall we? It's just the way to avoid using Matok. That is handy that the game gives you a way to progress even if you don't have any of the consumable item. And now we are back on the deck of the ship and we need to go down that ladder. Unfortunately, there are enemies in the way. They're not that tough right now, but we haven't seen the enemy that was at the entrance that we left yet. There are a lot of these undead foes, and we'll just hit them with our silver sword. They're really not difficult if you have the silver sword equipped. And there are these clouds that we can hit, and we're going to ignore them. And more foes, but we haven't met the most dangerous obstacle to us reaching the sky, and that is in the next area. We're going to equip Cure here, 
because if we go into this area, we're going to find loads of werewolves. Four of them. And we need to be very careful because in this uh, enclosed area, they can hurt us quite badly. Fortunately, they haven't really done so, so we're just going to uh, hit them and defeat all of them. Might as well get the experience while we're at it, eh? And that chest is blocking the route to uh, that werewolf getting to us. We gained a level. We'll get even more power. Marvelous. And if we wait a little bit, we might be able to hit this foe. Stay right there, Mr. Werewolf. Fly across the... Never mind, that barrel blocks our ability to get there. You know what? We'll let you live. Let's go down here and find where Sky is, over on the next screen. And then we'll be able to escape, and I've no idea how we're actually going to escape from here. Over here, Jim. Excellent. We can finally get you out of here. Do you have a plan for how we're going to get off the airship? Sure, we'll just wait for them to land again. That might be in quite a while. Let's go. Keep this pendant, Jim. Why are you giving me the most important item in this entire adventure? I just have a bad feeling. Trust me on this. Okay, now promise me you won't lose this. It's very important that you keep it a secret. Of course I won't lose it. I don't believe you, Jim. I promise I won't lose it. Okay. Give me the pendant. Uh-oh, I think we spent too long talking. I'm in trouble, aren't I? Yes, you are. He's in serious trouble. That is a lot of fire! Oh dear. Hold on! I can't, because I'm also holding onto my shield and my sword. How are you even holding onto that ledge? I've no idea. And fall we do. Right into a house. Wow! Somebody came down from the sky! Jim? Do you know him? Jim! It seems like we've encountered someone we know! That is not encouraging music, though. It's Amanda! I'm glad to see you again, my friend. I came back from Glaive after you left there. I used the same method you did, and they didn't stop me either. Oh, Jim. I'm sorry. But I have to. Have to what? Turns out you're absolutely fine. Where am I? Pendant! Where is it? Oh, Sky's going to shout at me so much I've lost it already! Wait, I'll check under the bed and... It's not under the bed, is it? Oh no. I thought that it was Amanda talking to me. I'm sure that's not connected to anything. And we are here in another town. Let's go and talk to everyone, shall we? Like you! We used to see many chocobos around here. I saw an egg in a forest up north. This is not at all a message telling you that you should go to the north and check that area out. And we most certainly won't. And by won't, I mean that's the first thing we'll be doing. Are you okay, boy? You are in Menos. Amanda left the village earlier this morning. You know Amanda? Yes, she was awfully excited about something, saying, Now I have the thing that I need, and I'm so sorry, Jime. Uh, it's Jim. Jim with a Y? That's what I said. Jime. Why does everyone keep saying that? We're going to go this way and explore and talk to these people. Amanda's little brother, Lester, is a musician. He's playing harp in a town called Jad. I didn't know that she had a brother. I believe she literally told you that when you were in the uh, Glaive Castle. How do you know that I was in Glaive Castle? You made quite an appearance, trust me. Everyone was talking about you. Fair enough, it's not often many people fall through the ceiling from an airship. You fell from an airship? Yeah. Why are you not dead? Oh, I'm fine. It's just something I have. The ability to survive ridiculous falls. I'm just going to walk away now. And there's one more person to talk to. I used to hear a beautiful sound of harp over in Jad. Jad is at the north end of the desert. There are a few places that we can go into, like this building. There'll be somebody to talk to, I'm sure. Like these two. The Book of Ice is hidden somewhere in the desert. That is an ironic place to store the Book of Ice. But no one would think of looking there if you weren't telling everyone. What's wrong with Amanda lately? She's depressed. 
We'll find out what's wrong with Amanda in a little bit. For now, we're going to check out the weapon store, because we don't need any items at the moment. We can sell things to the weapon vendor just fine. And this guy is once again checking up on us. I appreciate that you're concerned, but we just need to get past you right now. And we also need to get past you. Menos is a bit of a problem because it's a very small town, and it's also a very cramped one as well. Now, what do you sell, sir? The answer is, you sell the Wind Spear. We want the Wind Spear. We also want to sell a few things while we're here. We'll uh, sell this Nectar, and we'll also sell, let's see, we'll sell this Gold for 750. That's why I was holding on to them. They are very valuable items. There's also Ruby that we'll eventually find, and one more that is not valuable for its monetary worth, but for something else. Okay, what else do we uh, want to get rid of? We could get rid of some of these cures, maybe one or two of them. It can't hurt after all. We'll get rid of this, and we'll also get rid of that there. Marvelous! We want to equip the Wind Spear. It won't deal with enemies that are only affected by silver weapons, but it has a high attack power, and its ability is that you can throw it! Don't ask me how we get it back, though. It's time to explore the area around Minos, and try and find where that chocobo egg might be, because that egg is definitely a chocobo egg. And we've seen these enemies before, and they're very easy to defeat. We'll be back for you later. Time to explore, and the desert is over to the west there, as the uh, appearance of sand will hint at. Alright, we're going to uh, defeat this hedgehog warrior, and find a candy. We really didn't want to find a candy, and because we left that one enemy alive, there are more enemies! And that onion shouted wah at us. That wah can hurt us. Don't be hurt by wah! Throw spears at enemies that say wah at you! We want to go in this direction, and find where that egg is, as a priority. We also want to get even more gold! Okay, I can settle for gold, that is much better than candy. I thought that would be candy for a moment. Over here are some of those, uh, clouds, and this is where the airship was. The airship is no longer here. It is long gone, likely heading to Castle Glaive. But even though we don't have the pendant anymore, Julius doesn't have it either. And without the pendant, they can't take over the world! Which is something, although I'd much rather that we had the pendant and were keeping it safe. We've no idea what Amanda is doing with it. And also, have a spear! To counter your- oh! That actually blocks the spear and breaks it in half. That is quite ingenious. What is up here? The answer is more werewolves! Fortunately, we can quite capably take care of werewolves and they drop cures to replenish the ones that we sold to make inventory space. I'm sure I'll use them at some point. And because they're here, these ones have quite a difficult time getting to you. They have to jump to get away from that uh, scenery. There are some very tough foes we don't want to face, and there is the beginning of the game! It's been quite a while since we've been there, but over here is where we want to go. There is an egg here, and we're going to go and check that egg out. It's a very large egg. Alright, we'll just use the chain to get to it, and then we'll look at it. Huh? Wow, it's moving! I think it's about to hatch, Jim. There's a chocobo! What are you? I don't think it's gonna say anything, Jim. Hey, don't follow me! I think it's gonna keep following you. You think I'm your mother? Hmm, okay, come with me! And now we have a chocobo! And the chocobo has one benefit. If you ask the chocobo, you ride the chocobo! And you are invulnerable to damage while you're riding the chocobo. Aha! Take that, enemies! I don't care for you, for I am riding a chocobo! And this version of the music is a little bit different to other versions of a chocobo theme. This is the theme that I think of when I think of chocobos. And we just want to head back to where the desert is, and have a little bit of an explore, because we need to find Jad. You can't fight enemies while you're riding the chocobo, you also can't enter towns or caves or anything like that while you're riding the chocobo. 
you need to be careful as to where you dismount, because you can get yourself into a lot of trouble if you dismount around enemies, or right next to them, as they'll probably hit you immediately. Let's just uh, heal up and start to explore the desert. There are some very difficult enemies in the desert, like these lizard enemies and scorpions that can poison you. And even with the wind spear, they take a lot of hits to defeat. We want to explore and find these enemies that sort of look like dinosaur people. We're going to defeat them, and they didn't drop the item that we want, but one of them will, I'm sure. They drop it fairly regularly. They drop an item that we're going to be giving to someone for a clue. A very important clue. There are a lot of screens with them, more of them than I remember. And over here is a shop, I believe, either that or an inn. The answer is, it's an inn. Howdy, 10 GP a night, wanna stay? No thank you, we're absolutely fine. And when we come back folks, we'll continue to explore the desert. Maybe we'll find Jad, and find where Amanda's gone. There's a high chance that she's gone to Jad. So I'll catch you next time folks, and I'll see you then. Later.